gonna park combines for the night and what the heck? I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Morning, the day after yesterday, and uh, got the water truck, wherever it's at back there. There it is, running. Dad's gotta do some spraying this morning. I'm gonna get fuel in the service truck. I get water in the water truck. And uh, we'll get a few things done today. Lake wind advisory issued for a day. Not a good thing for the canola. Good thing to dry fields, bad thing for canola. Oh man, the water tank's running over again. Click it just started though. Maintenance is done. Combines are fueled up, air cleaners are blown out, chains are tightened, windows are cleaned, ready to go cut. Oh yeah, thunderstorms forecast for tonight, possibly two tenths of rain, just what we needed. And rain this weekend. Oh man, these gophers have caused a lot of damage. They chewed off the canola when it was young and never had a chance to grow. Once, uh, once it was chewed off, the plants are basically die, and uh, they just cleaned off the acres here. So it's good to see some badgers moved into the area. Some bigger, bigger holes in the ground now. So I think the gophers are on the run. So that is a good one. That's what people ask. Why is that tractor on the grain cart and not the quad track anymore? Well, that tractor was leased to run the grain cart, land roller, and baler and we won't use all the hours up if we don't use on the grain cart so the uh 370 this tractor was being used to run the conveyor because the conveyor tractor was still bailing and yeah just kind of had to mix and match things around to make make it all work out right so that's why the cart went had the quad to begin with and why that tractor's on it now Nothing happened to the quad. It's actually pulling the air drill right now, seed and cover crop. So, story on the quad track disappearing. Sixty acres into the last field down here in the valley. Uh, then we got to move up to uh, the main yard that uh, came with this farm. That's where the, most of our winter wheat was. So if you've been following along, you know where I'm talking about. Um, yeah, 80 acres left in this field. We'll maybe get it done tonight. I hope. We got about two and a half hours, but it's uh, getting a little blue to the south. These storms tonight are moving in from the south, which is rare this time of year, I think. I don't know. It usually doesn't rain this time of year, so I don't know what's normal. We're going to try and get this field finished tonight, get moved up to the bins there so we can cut that 500 acres of canola up there. Fingers crossed it won't rain tonight. Last pass up here on these fields. Uh, we are ready to move out of here and finish this one up. Rob is off uh, putting fuel in his combine. They're running to grab the, bring the last truck in here to uh, take the last load out of here. So we're gonna get uh, combines moved over to the header trailers. Yo, 
want me to go last? Yeah, I gotta get out of your way first so you can make the corner. There may be a truck coming back, I'm not sure. I'll try to get up the hill. about to the bins we're gonna park combines for the night and what the heck someone's combine is at my yard obviously it broke down and it is green after all still sitting here well I said yesterday that we switched tractors off the grain cart not because we had troubles with the quad but because we usually use that 370 for the grain cart. Well now we have trouble with the quad. I think it's a parking brake sensor. Chinese fire drill with the combines and dad's back in his combine. Rob's now in my combine. I'm gonna go see what's going on with that John Deere combine because it's actually a demo. Just been pulling you guys' leg this whole time. I knew it was coming. And uh, then we're gonna get it rented. I think we're gonna let's demo it for a day or two or something like that. And then it is ours to rent for, I don't know how long, maybe the rest of harvest. As of right now, we got about 3,500 acres to cut. Um, about 900 acres out of canola, the rest is spring wheat. So uh, I'm gonna go up there, put the two-way in that combine, see if they have it all ready to go. They needed to bring a GPS unit for it yet, and they're bringing the header this morning. And who knows what else. So gonna be like uh, reading Spanish or something for me. Getting in a, in a green combine. It's been a long time since I ran a uh, John Deere combine. So. so the mechanic was out this morning. His computer hooked up to that tractor. We have a bad parking brake sensor. So it's not normal for us. We usually don't have to call a shop. But since that uh, tractor's got so many computers on it, um, yeah, we kind of had an idea. We had a track down to that to begin with, but uh, now we know for sure. And he said we could use it, but just gonna have an alarm going off the whole time. He had checked all the pressures, the parking brake is re was releasing in the transmission. So it's usable, it would just be real annoying to run it right now. So we'll see. Now we got this other combine here. We're kind of a guy short to keep running our cover crop. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get caught up on trucks and Hayden can hop in there and do a little more, little more seeding here off and on, we'll see. So. Plan. It's a plan. I always say that that's a plan. Well, get the header on. It's a start. We were after a demo slash rental combine here for a while. The last month I've been looking for one just because harvest is getting so late. And that's what we could come up with. Probably won't put them on camera. They're probably pretty embarrassed that they work for a dry deer. <laughs> that's funny call, right? Getting all settled into this demo. Lots of different monitors to look at. It's literally getting used to. The controls, up is up and down is down on a John Deere, unlike the case that I'm used to. So whenever I want to raise my header, I go down, and whenever I want to go down with my header, it goes up. And yeah, getting used to things. But, so far, pretty cool machine. This one does have automation, so see if we can show it here. Uh, this one, I think. Live camera. 
probably can't see with the glare, but it's got a picture of my clean grain as well as my tailings. That's kind of cool. combines still green that's unfortunate well I made it up top here but I don't know where the engines at I'm guessing it's here somewhere oh there it is look good I think after harvest, uh, we'll have a dance party up here. Let's go to your left. Combine's never spun out up that hill before. And if you saw the 23 uh, badge on the side, it would have looked happen. You would have had to hit the clutch and shift it, but you're probably right. Finished up all the canola over on the east side of the farm. Everything over there is done now. We are moving all the way to the west side now, and we are going to get back to cutting spring wheat. Um, heard a lot of quality concerns after that five inches of rain, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we're lucky and uh, don't have too many discounts on it. There's feed wheat bids out and all kinds of other stuff like that, but uh, I think we're just going to. Store it all for now and see how everything shakes out. It'll be all right. It's always all right. Well, Dad, mixing and filling up the sprayer. So start spraying, and it's raining again. So we're done cutting over here, though. He was going to spray some fields. We're moving trucks over to where the combines are at now. All right, we just got back to this vineyard. These trucks are over here. The other trucks here are uh, have wheat on that we cut last night, so we're going to dump them, head over to the combine, see if we can cut. Nick's over there putting fuel in the machine, so uh, should be ready to go to, if it's dry enough by the time I get there. Back of the combines, getting fuel on them, putting the right number back on it. That's all this combine really is. The case is designed from 30 years ago. But we're giving it a shot. It is just starting to sprinkle again. That's convenient. Um, yeah, this stuff is all hanging down, no good. Uh, the moisture is a little bit, uh, a little bit high in spots. It's not too bad on the average, but we're dealing with a bunch of green weeds that came after it was sprayed because it had so much rain. 
since that season probably over 10 12 inches and uh normally we don't get that much rain during the whole year so this is a good little struggle going on that's for sure but now that it's raining I'm not sure what we're doing. Well, it just seems to keep sprinkling and we're not making much dust, but the neighbor to the northwest of us is making dust and we got some fields in that direction, so I'm taking the truck over by that field because we got to go by these fields anyways to get to the bins and I am going to see what the conditions are like over here. Maybe we can move combines over and cut here now, so it's a plan. So much for that plan. Now it's draining here, we're gonna move the combine to. Guess we're going home. Hey, maybe we'll go edit a video.